Cyberpunk 2077 has received a good amount of news over the last week, so let's go ahead and talk about that. First thing I have to briefly mention is the new Night City Wire event that is taking place next month on June 11th. While we don't quite know what to expect during this event, as they haven't confirmed what's going to be shown, we do know that stuff will be shown. As a quote from CD Projekt Red, by the way. If I were to take a guess, they will show us snippets of gameplay and discuss parts of the game. I don't think they would announce an event like this that is occurring during the time that E3 would have taken place to leave us hanging with nothing new about the game, especially given that the game is releasing a few months after the event. I'll of course be sure to cover everything that comes out of the event, so you don't have to worry about missing anything. Next thing that needs to be addressed is the Xbox Portugal Twitter account, which claimed that Cyberpunk 2077 was going to be featured in Xbox Game Pass at launch. I can assure you that was completely false. The tweet was quickly deleted and the account then apologized for posting incorrect information, stating the following. Unfortunately, this was a mistake on our part. We wanted to talk about the Xbox One X special edition of Cyberpunk 2077. We have no information regarding Xbox Game Pass and for that, we extend our deepest apologies. Now, that was a huge bait to say the least, but it was too good to be true anyway, and I don't see that kind of deal ever going down, especially for a game that is probably the most hyped game of all video game history, so I don't think anyone truly believed this anyway. Another bit of confusing information over the last week was the ESRB's rating of the game, which stated the game includes in-game purchases. The reason this threw people off was because CD Projekt Red has previously stated that Cyberpunk 2077 will not feature any microtransactions or in-game purchases. So why does the ESRB state otherwise? Well, here is CD Projekt Red's simple explanation of the situation. As we've said before, Cyberpunk 2077 is a single player game with no microtransactions. The ESRB info is based on the fact that expansions require the base game and are therefore treated as a purchase by the ratings board. And we know that the game will get large scaled expansions just like The Witcher 3 received, so the ESRB just refers to them as in-game purchases. So no, the game will not sneak them in. Cyberpunk 2077 will not feature microtransactions or any in-game purchases. Alongside that confusion with the ESRB rating, Cyberpunk 2077 has also made quite the headlines over the last week in regards to its level of mature content. The rating summary has offered plenty of specific details on just how mature this game truly is going to be. Here is a quote from the ESRB. Players can encounter events where they have the option to engage in mature activities with other main characters or workers. These brief mature scenes from a first person perspective depict partially unclothed characters moaning suggestively while moving through various positions. Some scenes contain brief depictions of thrusting motions, other scenes depict a character's head moving towards a partner's nether regions. The ratings board also revealed that the game will allow players to select a gender and customize their character. Customization can include depictions of breasts, buttocks, and genitalia, as well as various sizes and combinations of genitals. Keep in mind, all of this suits Cyberpunk 2077 quite well, so ignore anyone getting all upset over this. It's a cyberpunk world where people are very well known to augment all parts of their bodies. Their nether regions aren't going to be excluded from that. But that's actually not it, because Cyberpunk 2077 is going to include a lot of cruelty in the game. And I'm talking straight up torture. According to the ESRB, during a specific quest, players will assist a character by hammering nails through someone's hands and feet resulting in screaming sounds and blood effects accompanying the whole scene. So with that said, Cyberpunk 2077 is not for children. I think that's obvious. Now, for those of you that may be worried about the game receiving a ban in some countries, such as Australia, which we have seen game bans many times in the past, I can reassure you that it won't be banned there. The game has now received a R18 Plus rating in Australia. In fact, CD Projekt Red studio boss Adam Badowski also mentioned last month that Cyberpunk 2077 has already been rated by the vast majority of rating boards around the world. So I take it there hasn't been any bad news as of yet, such as any AO ratings or bans. 
While bans and AO ratings could still be in the cards for the game in other countries, everything we've seen so far seems to point in the direction of them staying just on the right side of the line to not warrant any bans. The game also seemingly hasn't been censored for specific countries as of yet, so that's also good news. But that is everything for today's video. I'll be sure to stay on top of the latest on Cyberpunk 2077 to keep you all up to date. I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, please smack that like button down below, subscribe, join the good fight if you haven't already, and ring that bell icon to stay updated in all of my future videos. It would be super greatly appreciated as always. And until next time, this is Epoxy signing off. <laughs>